Peggy Fisher-Keller, Curator of Geology here at the Indiana State Museum and Historic Sites. So for today, I thought first we would sort of put on our thinking hats a little bit. When I say fossil, what do you think of first? You're like a lot of people, maybe you think of a big mounted dinosaur in a museum gallery, and I would disagree with you. If you have hunted fossils in the Midwest, maybe you think more along the lines of marine shells, like these brachiopods, or the ever iconic and popular trilobite. Paleontologists, though, have a broader definition of fossils. The definition of fossils that paleontologists use are the remains or traces of once living animals or organisms that are 10,000 years old or older. So footprints, trackways, these count as fossils. And these two slabs here hold some fossils, some footprints, and they're among the many that we have here in the Indiana State Museum and Historic Sites collection. Traces, footprints, burrows, these can tell us a lot of things that bones can't necessarily do. A trackway can tell us how quickly, how fast an animal was moving. A burrow can tell us where an animal maybe preferred to sleep, to rest. And footprints can tell us where an animal may be preferred to hunt. These are things that bones often just cannot do. And we did not have bones from four-legged animals in Indiana from this time period, 300 million years ago. But from these footprints, we know that there were animals walking around in a tidal flat, perhaps hunting. This site that these are from, it's like a little slice of time from the Pennsylvania period. Now there were four-legged animals around for a while, from this time. They were mostly amphibian-like, so they were tied to the water with the need to lay their eggs. Now around this time, a new development occurred. Animals that could lay their eggs away from the water, reptiles, came onto the scene. And the great thing is, we have footprints of both of those from this locality. So these larger prints here, these are from an amphibian. This animal could have been maybe up to 15 inches long. And these smaller tracks, these two smaller prints, these are from a reptile-like animal. And these, this animal could have been more like eight inches long. So we have a lot more to learn about these animals. But as we do so, as we do so, we'll be looking for bones from these animals but we'll be using these trackways to help us better understand Indiana's ancient environments.